Hi all, this is Divyansh and today I am going to explain about initial incremental and combined load in mass injection ISES. Moving forward, this is the agenda of the video. Mass injection ISES loads, overview about initial load, how to run DBMI initial load, a quick demo, overview about incremental load, how to run DBMI incremental load, a quick demo. Overview about combined load which is initial plus incremental load and how to run DBMI combined load a quick demo. Mass injection ISCS loads. So in mass injection ISCS we have three types of loads which is initial, incremental and combined load and these are terms which are used to describe the different approaches for transferring the data from source to target. Initial load. This refers to the process of transferring the data from the source to the target for the first time or one time. It involves extracting the entire data from the source, transforming it if it is necessary or required and then loading it to the target. Initial loads, which are typically performed when setting up a new system or when there is a need to refresh the entire data set in the target site. Now I will give a quick demo of how to run a database mass ingestion initial load job. This is my mass ingestion uh, ISCS uh, browser and you need to first click on new from the left hand panel. Click on database ingestion task. Enter the task name. For example, here I will type initial sample. Select the location where you want to run this particular task. Select the runtime environment. Select initial load. In the source definition, select the connection. Here I have Oracle as source and also target as Oracle. Select the schema. In the table rules, define which particular table you want to transfer from the source to the target. For example, in my schema, I want to transfer the data of the table customer. Select an update. After this update completes and the loading completes, you will see that the customer here, it will increment its value to 1. As it has found the table customer, this value has incremented to 1. Let it finish loading and then click on next. Select the target connection. Select the schema. Now define the name of the renaming rules. So here you need to define the target, the new name of the target, which will be defined for the source. I have the table customer in the source and I want to rename it to customer underscore TGT new initial. I am doing this so that my source table is not overwritten by the new set of values which will be transferred from the source to the target and a new table called customer TGT new initial will be created and the data will be transferred. Click on next then click on save. After the task is saved successfully click on deploy.
go to my jobs you will see that the initial load task is successfully deployed and then click on this three dots and click on run it is loading the values once this task is completed as you can see it's completed and it has read four records and and it has written four records which are present in my customer table and the status will change to complete now moving forward we have incremental load incremental load it is a process of transferring only the changed or the new data from the source system to the target and it involves the extracting the data which has to be modified or added since the last load applying any necessary transformations and then loading it to the target system and it is a never ending and a continuous running job incremental loads are commonly used to keep the target system up to date with all the changes in the source system thus reducing the time and the resources which are required for data integration now i will give a quick demo of how to run incremental load click on new click on database ingestion task type the task name select the location select the runtime environment click on incremental load and click on next in the source select the connection select the schema in the rules select the select the table which you want to capture the changes for example i want to capture the changes for the table customer you can click on update to see if that table is fetched or not and the value will increase to 1 click on execute to enable the change in the data capture script after the cdc script is applied successfully click on next select the target connection select the schema now select the table renaming rules the customer table from the source it will create a new table called customer tgt incremental and the changes will be captured in this table click on next click on save after the task is saved successfully click on deploy click on my jobs you can see that the new incremental task is deployed successfully and now click on run click on the task name now it is loading the values and trying to capture any changes are made in the table if you make any changes in the records it will be present here and you can also check that in the object details
if any inserts, updates, deletes, or blobs are done. Now, moving forward, combined load, which is initial plus incremental load. Combined load combines the initial load incremental load approaches. It involves performing initial load to transfer the entire data from the source to the target and after it's completed, it will start the subsequent loads and perform incremental to transfer only the changes of the new data. Combined loads are useful when there is a need to populate the target system initially and then keep it synchronized with the changes which are made in the source system over time. It is also a continuous running job. Now I will show you how to run a combined load. Click on new. Click on database ingestion task. Type the name. Select the location. Select the runtime environment. Select initial and incremental load, which is combined load. Click on next. Select the source connection. Select the schema. Specify the table rules for which you want to run combined load. You will see that the table value is incremented to 1. Click on execute. After it's completed, click on next. Select the target connection. Select the schema. Specify the table renaming rules for the target. Click on next. Click on save. After the task is success successfully saved, click on deploy. Click on my jobs. Here you can see that the combined task is successfully deployed and then click on run. Now here you can see in the status that the task is up and running. Here you will find in the object details all the tables and the values and if there are any changes done after the initial load is complete. Here are some of the docs which you can refer. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.